What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. We are in the gym, which we have not been in quite a while. We have the garage door open because it is finally warm enough the season to have the garage door open, which I am so, so, so excited about. And today we are doing the first workout postpartum. Okay, not like the first workout, I guess. Well, technically it is. I've been doing some of my exercises. I saw my physiotherapist last week and we started doing some exercises. I got the okay to start working out. And now today we're officially doing like a full workout. Like I've only been doing a little bit of bike, like 10 minutes max of the bike. And then I've been doing a couple of my physio exercises. But today we are gonna be doing the 12 week program that I'm following. So I'm doing the Mama and Baba Athletics, which you guys can follow her on Instagram. I will have it linked in the description down below. And I'm gonna be doing that 12 week program as like my postpartum recovery into getting like back into CrossFit so I am super excited we're gonna be doing day number one which like I am just I, I cannot wait to get back to working out like I just feel like my mental health really needs this and I just can't wait to eventually I know not now but eventually get a barbell in my hands or even dumbbells we're gonna be getting kettlebells in our hands today so I am just so 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 excited as you guys can probably see, I have a big smile on my face. I cannot, I'm just like over the moon. Like I'm glad that I'm finally starting this journey. Everything's doing okay, I'm healing okay, and I'm just super grateful. On that note, I actually wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about my body and how it has been kind of recovering. So like I said, I saw my physiotherapist last week at like four weeks postpartum. I'm officially five weeks postpartum. And um, when I saw her, we did like a full body assessment. And I really wanna share with you guys kind of like the changes with my body and everything like that and kind of what's going on because my body has healed quite well. We looked at the incision from my C-section. Everything's looking really great there. I actually have to massage it quite often, which scares the crap out of me. It's so weird to touch that like area, I guess, just because like there was like a major surgery there and I'm almost like terrified to touch it. So that has been a little hard as odd as that sounds. It just is very weird to touch a scar where you've just been completely cut open. But it's also very important that I massage that area to really get the flexibility back into that area just because we've cut through so many layers of my body to get cove out <laughs> anyways so that has been doing really good it's been healing really good and then we kind of assess my pelvic floor and it is doing pretty good like it's pretty strong I mean like I didn't push a baby out so it isn't as weak as it would be if I had pushed a baby out I obviously did do a lot of pushing but um, obviously he didn't come out through me so there was some weakness obviously from pushing, but um, <laughs> it didn't affect me too, too much. Since I worked on it pre like labor and everything like that throughout my pregnancy, I was able to kind of maintain some of the strength in my pelvic, pel pelvic floor. Wow, I cannot say that word. So that's really good too. And I'm able to engage it and I have some good like kind of, I guess, strength in it. And then going on to my abs, my abs was a huge concern. Like I've been trying to avoid using my abs just because at the end of my pregnancy, I had a, like a lot of coning in my abs. I had it pretty early on and then it just progressively got worse in the third trimester. So when it came to postpartum in like the past couple weeks, I've actually been kind of like worried to use them too much because I didn't want to hurt them or damage them or anything like that. Um, but when we assessed them, they actually were a lot stronger than I thought they were. They healed quite well. Like a lot of my coning, I had some, but they've gone back to normal relatively, except for one little area. There is a little bit of gapping just in the middle of my stomach, which obviously you guys can't see. Um, there is just like a little spot where there is still some separation, but other than that, they have come together quite well, which I am really happy to hear because I was very concerned about that. So I put in a lot of work during my pregnancy to make sure that I maintained it well and I didn't overstrain it and I didn't do too many exercises that was causing too much coning. Um, and then, and so it did, and so it did pay off with like, not having too much ab separation postpartum. So I'm really, really happy about that. We're doing a lot of exercises involving the core because we assessed me bending forward like on one leg. And it's so weird, like 
my body autonomy, like knowing like my body and how it functions is so different now. Like before I could lean forward, I could do one legged things and I was fine. Now I'm so unstable. I don't know how to like describe it, but my body has changed obviously. My body has gone through a pregnancy. My abs have kind of shifted. My core has kind of shifted. And so to bend forward on one leg is super unstable for me, <laughs> surprisingly. Well, that was just like, it's like just so different. I don't know how to explain it, but yes, bending forward on one leg and having that stability is completely gone. So we're trying to gain back that stability. So that is what I've been doing. My physio exercises is trying to gain that stability by doing supermans where you go on all fours. But I'm obviously doing like a very scaled version because we want to slowly build up. We don't want to do exercises that are too advanced for me. So we're doing some supermans where you go on all fours, one hand forward, one leg back, but I have to do it much more scaled because I'm not used to having like that I don't know, stability forward, I guess, if that makes sense. So I'm just kicking my leg back very gently right now. And then I'm also doing like a lot of like just basic core work. I'm not doing like crunches or anything like that. Like that. I'm doing like a lot of like dead bugs and um, some glute bridges just to kind of get the core back into its place. And then, like I said, today we're going to be doing the workout with Mama and Baba Athletics. So that we're going to start like the 12 week program finally, which I'm really excited about. I'm so excited. So yes, that's pretty much what we're doing today. I know I'm rambling, but I just kind of want to update you guys, share with you guys like kind of what my assessment was of my body. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comments down below. I'll be happy to respond to them. So yeah, we're gonna get warmed up. We're gonna do our little rehab exercises and then we're gonna do our workout and I'm just thrilled. I am so, so excited to do this. I know it's not gonna be like an intense workout, but it probably will be pretty intense for me considering I have not like done an a workout like any resemblance of workout besides walking in like a long time so let's get into it let's do it let's have some fun I'm so excited okay so we started with like five minutes on the bike just to kind of warm up our bodies my physio gave me obviously approval to do like very light like I'm only at level two on the concept two bike um, to do that so that's really good got that done and now like I said we're doing the rehab exercises the first exercise I'm doing is one-legged glute bridges. I can't fully stabilize holding my leg in the air, so I'm putting it across on my other leg just so that I can learn that stability. Like I was saying before, I'm kind of not having that full stability in my core still. So to kind of get that back, I'm just holding on with the other leg and doing my glute bridges like that. And then I'm also pairing it with um, doing dead bugs, but my dead bug is not with both legs in the air, it's only with one leg in the air, just because I can't hold both legs in the air right now. We're slowly starting things out. So right now I hold just one leg in the air and that is pretty good for my core. I definitely feel it when I work on that. Also, if you hear noise, Cove is here with David. He's just having his afternoon feed. I just finished my two other uh, physio exercises. One's just me opening up my legs and the other one is me doing um, the Superman, but I'm not doing an arm and a leg just because I can't do that yet. I'm just engaging my legs right now. And it's so hard because like so many of my other muscles want to take over for my core just because my core is so weak, but I really like have to concentrate and make sure I'm engaging my core and using my core just because it's so weak and it's hard to engage sometimes but we're slowly building it back up so that we won't have that issue. That's the whole point of these exercises obviously. Anyway, so we're going to start with the workout of my 12 week program. Also my physio exercises. I have like a lot of stretching and I'm working on like pelvic tilts, engaging my pelvis, like some opening of the hips, things like that. I'm doing that kind of outside. Like when I'm watching Cove, when Cove's on the ground and I'm playing with him, I'll sometimes do some of my exercises. So I'm doing all that on the side. So the program's broken up into three parts, which we are gonna get into. So it's the engage part, the work part, and then the workout part. So the engage part, which is what we're gonna start with, she had glute bridges in there, but I did my glute bridges already. So we're gonna just let that go. And then we're gonna do some kneeling shoulder taps, which might be difficult, we'll see how they go. And then we're also gonna be doing some side-lying marches. Um, thankfully, she has like a lot of like, well, she has a lot, she, after each exercise, there's like a video that you can click on to. Um, I say she, but she built a program. Anyways, <laughs> so they have like, you can click on a video to see what uh, the exercise is, which is really nice. So I'm gonna do those first to finish the engagement, and then we'll jump into some of the work.
So the engagement exercises are all done and honestly, I'm starting to get tired already and we haven't even gotten to the real hard stuff. Well, it's not hard, but more difficult stuff, I guess you could say. So now we're moving on to the work section, which I am a little nervous about, but we'll see. So the first thing is suitcase carries with the kettlebell and banded good mornings. We're gonna do that three times. And then after that, we are gonna be doing some wall push-ups. She said either raised or wall. I'm gonna start with wall, see how it goes. And then we're also gonna do some banded shoulder press. So I'm excited for that. Let's get into it. section is all done. I ended up doing 10 push-ups on the wall. I think next time I can probably do raised push-ups. I think I feel confident enough to do raised push-ups next time. And then also I just did eight shoulder press just because they're feeling a little hard today, not gonna lie. And now for the workout section, it's five rounds, not for time. And in the program they have it saying um, the assault bike. I'm gonna be doing the biker. I'm not ready to do the assault bike. I also don't have an assault bike. So we're doing five calories on the uh, bike erg and then we're also doing 20 20 meter farmer carries so this is with two kettlebells it's called for i don't have two kettlebells so i'm going to use dumbbells that's what they used in the kind of demo video so i'm going to use two dumbbells and i think i'm going to do 15 pounds i think i feel confident enough to do 15 pounds easily so that is what i'm going to do let's get into it I didn't get the chance to talk to you guys after the workout yesterday. And today, while we were in the car, we had to take a little bit of a drive because somebody's a little fussy today. So we're taking a drive and we finally got him asleep, thankfully. We went and took a drive over to Starbucks, got myself some coffee because I'm feeling a little tired. But that is besides the point. We're here to talk about the workout. And honestly, that was perfect. The workout wasn't too hard and it wasn't too easy. Like when I first looked at it, I was like, I think this might be a little easy for me. And now like thinking about it and how I'm sore today, like my muscles hurt. I'm like, no, it was perfect. Right in the middle, not too hard, not too easy. Like perfect way to kind of step back into working out and doing CrossFit. And it just felt so good to be able to do like a structured kind of workout like that I guess you can say like having the different structured things to do that's very similar to like how you do a CrossFit workout most of the time and it felt really good like it just felt like a good engagement to kind of step back into CrossFit and I'm feeling good and I'm glad I'm just like more grateful that I get to work out because I have not been able to do that in a while like even when I was pregnant I was not able to do like a structured workout like that it was very random and just trying to do whatever I could do when I was feeling okay whereas now I'm feeling so much better and I'm able even though I'm like tired a little bit but I'm able to actually do like a whole structured workout where we do the engagement we do some like work portion like usually it's like weightlifting but because it's an introduction back into CrossFit you know what I mean it's like the work portion and then the workout portion it felt really Really good it felt good to actually do like kind of a work out like a, a wad I guess you can say it felt good to actually do that and uh, yeah I'm just really grateful that we got that done and I'm really happy like it was a lot of fun and I can't wait to go through this program and get back to where I was uh, before I guess or as close as I was before I'm excited to kind of see my progress and rebuild up and I think that this is a great way for me to rebuild all my muscles again because like prior to getting pregnant I was working with an injury on my shoulder um, that had taken a long time so I wasn't doing very many shoulder things during my pregnancy to engage that so it'll be great to 
kind of rebuild my shoulder as well as I rebuild my body again if that all makes sense I hope that makes sense anyways yes so I'm really happy it was a really great workout and I cannot wait to do more workouts and all that jazz oh feels so good so yes I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up it really helps the channel and if you're not already subscribed hit the subscribe button down below you guys know where it is and don't forget to be unstoppable and I will see you guys in the next video bye Summer days burn me out, love just brings me down Go inside like winter leaves that slowly leave the ground Hey, you come back, I wanna give you a chance Love me like you used to, so we can learn again The skin is getting round, baby, drinking